Ah, uh, hello there. It's been quite some time since I've had any visitors. And what have we here? Oh, such an exquisite beauty. I saw many a beautiful princess back at the castle. But you, my dear, oh, you outshine them all. Indeed, oh, indeed. It's easy to see why your fellow travelers guard you so closely. What? You saying you can see the Orc's princess all proper like? Of course he can! Even as a horse, her inner beauty shines through. That's right, my darling. Wait a moment. How can you recognize this horse as my beautiful princess? A horse, you say? Oh, how curious. Please excuse me, princess. Indeed, here is her mane and her tail. Oh, she is a horse. <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> As you can see, my sight failed me long ago. Now I view the world through my mind's eye instead. And what it sees is a princess, not a beast of burden. Curious travelers, might you tell me what has happened here? So, a curse has been placed upon her. Now, I may just have a way to return her to her former self. Yes, yes. Why don't we give it a try? Really? Where? How? Oh, blimey! Don't sneak up on me like that! What are you flapping about? I've been here the whole time, you twit! I can't say for sure if it will work, but have her drink from the spring. Its enchanted waters have been known to lift curses. Why don't you try it and see? some new trickery. No. No, my dear. I'm sorry. It's just that you take my breath away. Come here and let me look at you. Oh, father. <laughs> Medea, my darling Medea. I'm so sorry for making you pull the carriage. It must have been so hard for you. I promise, I'll make it up to you. Oh no, Father. You mustn't worry. This isn't just about me. I'm just happy that I could be of service to everyone. That's my Medea. Well, it's high time I restored my own visage to its former glory. Father? <gasps> hmm. 
Hmm? What's wrong? Medea! Oh, my princess! <laughs> what is this new devilry? It seems our celebrations were premature. Hmm. The curse placed upon the princess must be strong indeed. If the waters don't work, there is but one path left open to you. You must find and defeat the one who placed the curse upon her, Dulmagus. It is the only way to restore the princess to her true form. You must persevere, no matter how long and hard the road ahead. And now I pray you'll excuse me. My old bones get chilled so easily. I'm terribly sorry to behave so selfishly, but I have a favor to ask. I'm only human for the briefest of moments after drinking from the spring, but it would make me very happy if you could bring me back here every now and then. I'd like to be able to talk to you again, just like we used to. Back at the castle, we can forget all about the curse, even if it's only for the few minutes we share together. I can feel the enchantment wearing off. Consider it as a request from me as well. She asks for so little of us, it really is the least we can do. Actually, no. Think of it as an order. Understood? I didn't quite catch you. My ears must need cleaning. Come again. Will you grant her this one request? Very well. Now that that's decided, we can move on. Wait a moment. This won't do. You're forgetting something important. He must be the man we heard about in Argonia. The old wizard who lives in the forest to the west. If I'm not mistaken, he knows something about the magic mirror. We'd better visit his home and ask him about it. Thank you. 